a very good morning class 12 welcome to the channel by seema makhijani and we'll be doing tests for aldehydes in your syllabus of cbse class 12th we've got two important chemical tests namely the tollens test and the felling's test both of them are applicable for aldehyde which means you can identify an aldehyde by using the tollens reagent or by using the felling solution mind you this particular test is not for ketones under any circumstances which means if you are given two compounds an aldehyde and a ketone you can easily distinguish between the two of them by using any one of these two reagents is that fine so we would be continuing this class as done in the original class before this i had put up a video on comparison of aldehydes and ketones please go through it because this part is important this the principle behind this particular method is oxidation and we have already done oxidation in the last video where i have compared aldehydes and ketones so i would request you to watch that to understand this better just for your information since it is the oxidation when you have an aldehyde and you oxidize it it forms a carboxylic acid while if you have a ketone this also would form a carboxylic acid but unfortunately for ketones you require a strong oxidizing agent while for aldehyde oxidation a mild oxidizing agent is enough the reason can be looked up in the last video So which means both these tollens and felling test are under the category of your mild oxidizing agents that's the reason you can use them for aldehydes and you cannot use them for the ketones also felling solution is milder than tollens which means if i compare tollens and the felling's reagent then in that case this tollens reagent is a better oxidizing agent as compared to felling which also is the reason why if you have aromatic aldehydes now what do i mean by an aromatic aldehyde aromatic aldehyde is nothing but a benzene ring attached directly to an aldehydic group now under these circumstances you will not be able to use felling test because it is milder oxidizing agent as compared to tollens so for tollens you can use it for aliphatic aldehydes rcho as well as for aromatic aldehydes that is your benz aldehyde whereas felling solution cannot be used for benz aldehyde one more thing that is also very important you can other than aldehydes this reagent tollens reagent can also be used for formic acid that is a important board question what is formic acid formic acid is methanoic acid now what is methanoic acid a carboxylic acid with one carbon which means the formula of this methanoic acid is hcooh let us elaborate on the structure to understand it better a formic acid would have a structural formula like this have a close look this formic acid has an aldehyde type of a group is the reason you can use the tollens as well as the felling's test for this particular acid so for formic acid your felling's as well as tollens both can be used while felling cannot be used for aromatic aldehydes moving on in detail with the tollens reagent first For the Tollens test, you will require a Tollens reagent. Now, what is Tollens reagent? Tollens reagent is a common name. If you are asked the chemical composition, chemically, chemicals required for the Tollens reagent are silver nitrate and ammonia, and we use the solution of ammonia in water, which is ammonium hydroxide. This is also called as ammonical. silver nitrate is the chemical name of the tollens reagent coming to the formula the formula of ammonical silver nitrate silver nitrate as you know is this 
ammonia from here forms coordinate bonds with silver. If that happens, your silver is surrounded by two ammonia molecules like this. And this is the square bracket showing you the coordinate bond formation. And you have a nitrate ion outside. Now, in case of an aqueous medium which we will be using, you can also take this as ammonical silver nitrate. The Tollens reagent in books you would find is written like this because it's understood. In medium, this would ionize, will give you the positive ion of the complex and the nitrate ion. Our interest is in this. So in books you would find it is only this part which is written. Moving on to the chemical test. How does this particular reaction work? Now, if I take an aldehyde and treat it with the Tollens reagent, I am using it as a TR for Tollens reagent. Tollens reagent, the formula as we did is this. So I am only writing this part. You may write this complete, that's okay. Silver bonded to two molecules of ammonia in a complex. So this is your Tollens reagent. Now this is a highly basic medium. Because you're, when you prepare the Tollens reagent, you will be adding ammonium hydroxide. Hence, the medium is basic. That should be understood. So, when you treat it like this, this leads to the formation of your aldehyde changes into RCOO- that is a carboxylic acid. While your Tollens reagent transforms into silver, that is also the reason we call this test as silver mirror test. Now, why a mirror would be in a minute. I will continue from there. The byproducts are ammonia which would be evolved and water. So, if you have it in a test tube, you take your aldehyde, you add the Tollens reagent, heat it a little, you will find silver deposited on the surface of your test tube. Which means, let's say, if I have a test tube like this. In this test tube, if you take your aldehyde, And you, to this you add your Tollens reagent and you heat it. This is your solution and you would find the reaction taking place where the silver would start to deposit on the surface of your test tube. So your whole test tube would start appearing shiny. And if it starts appearing shiny, which is due to the silver formed, you can easily see your face in the test tube if you perform this particular test. This test is also done in the lab by class 12th. This is one of the practicals that you would be doing in the lab for organic compounds. That is for functional group testing, you would be using Tollens reagent. I will do another equation to get it clarified. Let us take another aldehyde. I am deliberately taking an aromatic aldehyde because aromatic aldehydes react with the Tollens reagent to give you silver mirror. This is your Tollens reagent. They react to give you a benzoic acid. H positive is lost in the medium. You would get a silver deposited. Byproducts are ammonia and water. Pay attention to this reaction now. Now in this case, if I talk about what is happening to your aldehyde. Your aldehyde is transforming into carboxylic acid. And therefore, this step refers to oxidation. Is that fine? Talking about this. Now this positive is the charge on silver. And here what is the charge? What is the charge on silver? Nothing. So the oxidation state is zero. So during the Tollens test exactly what happens is your silver goes from plus one to zero. So Silver is getting reduced, as you can see, while your aldehyde is getting oxidized. Hence, the reaction involved is a redox reaction, where aldehyde is changing to a carboxylic acid. It is undergoing oxidation by means of this oxidizing agent, where silver is changing from plus 1 to 0 oxidation state, showing that silver is transforming from 1 positive to 0, which means there is a reduction in oxidation state. So, Tollens reagent is undergoing reduction and your aldehyde is undergoing oxidation. Fine. So, this is how we perform the Tollens test. We will now be doing in detail the Felling's test. The Felling test also like the Tollens test is again the reaction is going to be redox. 
and which we would observe just now. Now for the Tupfelling's test, you require a felling solution. Now what is a felling solution? Felling solution is made up of two parts, that is a felling solution A and a felling solution B. You should know the composition of felling A and felling B. That's a commonly asked board question as well as a viva question because this is one of your practicals where you will be using the felling test in the lab to identify aldehydes. I as already said, felling test is not applicable for benzaldehyde and for aromatic aldehydes. You cannot use this test. Now what are fellings A and felling B? Now felling A is nothing but your copper sulfate aqueous solution which means what will be the color of the solution? It's blue. You very well know. Coming to felling B. Now felling B the composition is slightly different and you should know the composition. The name of felling B solution is it is a solution of sodium potassium tartarate which means it is a salt of tartaric acid. Now what is tartaric acid? Tartaric acid is this a compound of four carbons which has two carboxylic acids in the end. This is your tartaric as I said, this is your tartaric acid and when I want a sodium and a potassium salt, this H would leave and you would have sodium or potassium. This H would leave, you would have sodium or potassium. I've taken sodium here and a potassium here. So this salt actually is your sodium salt at this end, CHOH, a CHOH and a potassium salt at this end. No one asks you this structure actually, but for viva, when you say that spelling B is sodium potassium tartarate, then you should know what you're speaking. The common name for this particular salt is also the Rochelle's salt. This you should know for your viva in practicals. Is that fine? The felling B also contains basic medium in it. There is sodium hydroxide in it because of the formation of how else will you form sodium and potassium tartrate. You will have to add NaOH and KOH to the tartaric acid. So this particular salt is also basic in nature. The solution B is basic in nature. Now moving on to the reaction exactly what happens when your felling solution is added to the aldehydes. So when we talk about felling's test, you will be using felling solution A plus B in equal amounts. And when you mix A plus B of the felling solution, you will get a deep blue colored solution exactly like this color of the sketch pen. Fine. So this deep blue solution is what you are going to use when you test for aldehydes. Let me take a simple aldehyde. This is the aldehyde. Now, out of your felling A and B, your interest is only in the cupric ions. Also, the medium is basic. You heat the test tube after adding the copper ions. These copper ions are from felling A plus B, mind you. This reaction takes place. This is your oxidizing agent. The mild oxidizing agent is your felling A plus B, which will oxidize your aldehyde into the carboxylic acid salt. It could be a sodium or a potassium, along with you would get your transformation of copper 2 positive changes to copper 2O, that is Cu2O. What is Cu2O? This is your cuprous oxide. This is orange colored PPT, which means your blue solution, the deep blue solution of the felling solution on reacting with aldehyde changes into an orange colored PPT which is easily visible. In this reaction, your aldehyde is undergoing oxidation while your felling A and B is changing from copper 2 positive. What is the state of copper here? Here the state of copper would be 2 minus and this would be plus 1. So your copper is going from 2 plus to copper 1 plus. That means this is undergoing reduction. Hence this is acting as an oxidizing agent. So your felling test is also a redox reaction. Is that okay? That was the chemistry behind the felling's test. Also you very well remember that felling test cannot be used for aromatic aldehydes because it is not that good an oxidizing agent as compared to tolerance. I'll just take a specific example. Let us talk about acid aldehyde. So if you are given acid aldehyde and acetone in two different test tubes. If you are provided with acetaldehyde and acetone in two different test tubes and you are asked to give a chemical test. So what you would say is 
you can add either tollens reagent or the felling's solution that's up to you whatever you want to add in both the cases and heat the test tube now there are two options if you add the tollens reagent then you would get silver mirror formed and if you add the felling solution which will be blue in color you would get a orange ppt that is how they are called as tests all chemical reactions mind you are not the tests tests are only when you see a change in color instantly or there is an evolution of gas or it could be turbidity that depends so with this i conclude my class of felling's test and tollens test for aldehydes and ketones i hope you've liked the video please keep liking please keep sharing please pass it on to other students group for promoting my channel the next video which i plan to do on this topic is that of in fact there are two things that i want to do one is reduction where i will doing clemensen's reduction and wolf kishner reduction and also the second video which i will be uploading after this would be addition of ammonia derivatives on aldehydes and ketones so we finished tollens and felling's test ideal for aldehydes and not for ketones as already told to you fine with this i close my class stay blessed stay happy loads of love